Now our question is how to measure the atmospheric pressure means how much atmospheric pressure is applying on us by the atmosphere might be you are not knowing that when we are standing in a simple standard atmospheric pressure so the particles which are present in the air that part particles are exerting pressure on our body okay and do you know the particles which are exerting pressure on us that that pressure is exactly equal to the pressure exerted by one elephant which is sitting on your head same pressure here these particles are also exerting same pressure on us and the when elephant is sitting on your head exact same amount of pressure is also here also okay but why we are not feeling this much kind of pressure because the blood pressure is also there because in our inside arteries veins are there so that blood is also exerting pressure on our body and same amount of pressure is exerting outside also air particles on us so net effect is going to cancel out each other that is why we are not feeling that much kind of air pressure or air like uh, particles uh, particles of air to us now how to measure the atmospheric pressure so the instrument named barometer with the barometer we are going to measure the atmospheric pressure diagram of barometer is like this in a barometer we are using a mercury so how to use this barometer see carefully actually in a barometer we are using two instrument first we are having this kind of you know tube and second we are having this trough trough or beaker you can say firstly what you have to do you have to take one test tube so in the test tube you have to fill it with mercury so this test tube we are going to fill it with mercury when you will fill all the test tube with mercury then air particles which are present inside this test tube the particles will come out so inside no air particle is there so you have to just put your thumb on it and just by putting the thumb so that no air particles can move inside put your thumb and take it and put inverted into the trough of mercury okay when you will put inverted in a trough of mercury then what will happen see carefully actually due to the weight of mercury mercury will move downside mercury is going to move downside due to acceleration due to gravity and weight of mercury and when mercury is going to move downside here vacuum is going to create because as we know we no here air particle is there in this inverted test tube no air particle is there okay so here vacuum is created and but outside air particles are there means outside atmospheric pressure is higher but inside atmospheric pressure is less so these atmospheric pressure will like uh, force the mercury to move upside these atmospheric pressure particles these higher pressure will force the mercury to move upside because each and every substance move from higher pressure to the lower pressure but from the out but from the upside mercury weight will send the particles downside mercury will send mercury weight will send the mercury downside so that it may move downside and when level will come one at one point one level will come when neither mercury will move upside neither uh, or mercury will move downside okay so this level this height attained is 76 cm so at 76 cm mercury is going to stop at one point so if you want to convert this 76 cm into meter then you can write it like this also 0.76 meter okay so height attained by mercury is this now in the next slide i will tell you how to like use it how to find the standard atmospheric pressure with this gadget okay so the standard atmospheric pressure we are going to find by using the formula that is here we are going to use the standard atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure in order to find we are going to use the formula h rho g this is also formula if might be numericals will come to you so the same formula you have to use atmospheric pressure or pressure exerted on the atmosphere is equals to h rho g where h is the height attained by mercury this height attained G, uh, rho is the density density of mercury what is the density of mercury that value here we have to put and g is the acceleration due to gravity g value is always constant 9.8 meter per second square this we will see the density of mercury then we will see the height attained now just put the values here formula of atmospheric pressure is h rho g height attained by mercury is 0.76 cm density of mercury is 13.6 into 10 to the raised power 3 multiply acceleration due to gravity value of acceleration due to gravity is constant 9.8 meter per second square just write the value here 9.8 meter per second square this value you have to remember and uh, density of mercury is constant and this we have calculated when you will solve all the 
like digits then you will get 1.013 into 10 to the raised power 5 pascal so standard atmospheric pressure is approximately 1 into 10 to the raised power 5 pascal this is a standard value of atmospheric pressure which we are going to use okay 